this is the demo for the Definitive Diagnosis Canvas Analysis Tool and software. Um, here is the tool. Uh, there's three wires and a USB that we're going to need to connect. Uh, the software is Windows 10 compatible. Um, there's just a driver to install initially. Uh, and then the rest of the setup is very straightforward. Um, so I'll run through it now. Uh, the first thing we need to do is install the driver. In the download link, you'll get this folder. Um, inside that folder are all these files and folders. Um, this application a file here, that's the main software. Um, there's a, a setup instruction Word document uh, and this folder here which is ENSTSW-link009 uh, this is the driver folder so what you're going to need to do is double click that um, double click on the Windows batch file which is stlink win usb install uh, double click that uh, you just click yes and then next uh, and then that's the driver installed and then you go back now we're going to go to the tool just close that so you're going to want to connect first of all to your ground of the vehicle you can low and you can high then that's that bit done uh, then the next step on here there's an LED which flashes every time you get a valid CAN bus message coming through. Um, so when I plug the USB in, you should see the LED is lit and that is flashing. I'm not sure if you can catch that. Um, so that means we've got communication on the network and the tool is receiving those messages. Um, so that's the first step done. Then all we need to do is open the software, which is just here. Okay, and then it's as simple as just clicking start. So this is hooked up to a, a um, I've got an ECU with the dash display uh, on the on the bench here. Uh, so this is just reading a, a few of the IDs on this network. Um, whereas everything that's on this network but there's not a lot connected to it so uh, what we can do um, if you just pause and then you can scroll back through and have a look at some of the live data down here um, this can all be copied and then you can paste, paste that into Excel if you want to create a log of what you're doing um, you can just clear everything out and start again and also what the tool does do is detect the bit rate which is here um, this network is at 500 kilobits um, the tool will detect 125 250 or 500 um, so that's where you're going to see this so uh, a scenario where this tool could come in handy you've got an intermittent CAN bus fault uh, logging a fault code um, you want to go out on road test um, sometimes it's difficult with a scope to try and analyze that data and find the errors uh, from you know pages and pages of waveforms and sifting through all of the data trying to find the error message um, We've got an error counter here. So as soon as it logs an error, uh, and this is detecting true errors, as there's a CAN transceiver inside the tool, um, and these errors will be logged with an ID number of where the error has come from. So if I hit start, um, I'm going to induce a fault here of. I'm going to short the can high to can low. Uh, you can see here, 
just pause that. So it's indicated here uh, that the ID 0x300 um, has logged an error and also on these IDs as well. So we can now, if if we only had one ID coming up here, you know, you, you could probably see straight away that, let's say there was 50 errors down here, all with one ID, then we can start to look for a particular module. Um, but here, you know, there's, there's going to be multiple, for a short can high to low, there's going to be multiple IDs. So straight away we can see, you know, if we if we're getting a list of all of the IDs that are on the network in this column, uh, we can see we've probably got a, a wiring fault, uh, something like this, or a short to ground on on the high or the low, something like that. Um, so it's a, it's a real quick indicator, uh, you know, and this is not to replace the scope. The scope has its place for sure um, with canvas faults, um, but this is. You know, a, a real quick setup. You can just quickly plug it onto your network, go on a road test, try and replicate the fault, um, and you know it, it's quite easy to see quite quickly. And then you can get the scope and, and really, you know, once you know a certain type of bump that you're hitting it, and, and then it throws an error because um, you're going to be you have to go back and check to see whether you've got fault code, analyze all the scope data. That can take a while. This is just speeding up that process. So let's say we had only error ID 300 that was throwing faults. Um, we can we can start the tool uh, and then go in here. And this this list is populated from all of the IDs on the network. So we we could go okay. So we only want to monitor 300. Uh, and this is this is the live data at the moment. There's nothing changing because I haven't got any sensors or actuators uh, connected to the ECU um, but if if you want to know what this 300 ID is let's say um, it was the the body control module and you activate the window switch and you're going to see maybe this um, this byte change here every time you press the window switch then you can be sure you know, you're on the right track of what module this is, um, and then you, you can you can start to monitor different IDs. You know, as many as you want down here, and then if you want, you can just clear everything, and start again. Um, so that's that's kind of the idea behind it, really. Um, it's just a, a speedy process for pointing you in the right direction. Um, if you have any questions about the tool, uh, please drop me a message. Um, the they will be for sale on eBay. Um, at the moment, I'm I'm just putting a few out through my Facebook page, um, but there'll be more coming soon. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it if you get one. Um, like I say, give me a shout if you've got any questions.